All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yashirala. This is another GMS Riley collaboration once again through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I'm the brother Nakwam. I'm the brother Kabasha. I'm the brother Gadal. I'm the brother Tazabah. And before we go any further with this Lord's with the edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son. Yahweh, 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 Bahashem, 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 Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kwadash, Bahashem, Racha, Kwadash, Bahashem, Racha, Kwadash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and have we well. Inshallah, we want to the other of that's out there laboring, pushing this truth in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakodash, out of fear and sincerity of heart to the best of their abilities. And uh, Kapashi, you can come up first. All right, all right. This is the book of uh, Sirach. All right, first chapter, twenty-second uh, verse reads. Twenty-first. Twenty-first verse reads. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. Now, according to 1 John 3 and 4, sin is the transgression, a.k.a. breaking of the law, statutes, and commandments, which was only given to the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, according to the seed line of your father. So when you have the fear of the Lord, it keeps you away from sinning willfully to the best of your abilities, man, because the things that you know you can keep, you keep to the best of your abilities, man. Now, of course, we're in the flesh. We're, we're going to constantly go off. But the sins that we know that we can keep to the best of our abilities, we keep. Read on. And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. It turneth away the Lord's wrath from you. See, because the Lord's wrath is going forth throughout the whole planet Earth, man. Judgment has happened everywhere. Okay, and we don't want to feel the judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, so we're going to do the things that are well-pleasing to the Lord to the best of our abilities, man. And Lord's willing will be a part of the elect and endure and do the work, do the work of the Lord until the end, until Lord Yahweh shall returns, man. All right. Uh huh. That All was right. it, my brother. A, all right, that's all of that. All right, this is the book of Proverbs, the fourteenth chapter, the twenty-second verse reads: Do they not err that devise evil? Yeah, my brother. Uh. What you chapter know, is uh, that? So why now? What, what chapter is that? Proverbs fourteen twenty two. Is that what you told me to get? Um. Kind. That that was it. Uh oh 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 oh. Proverbs chapter four chapter fourteen and two. Fourteen and two. Yes, yeah, see okay. what that says. It's All right. Okay. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs fourteen and two. Read, he that walketh in uprightness, spirit Yahweh. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, my brother, that, that's a good point there. That, that is a wise saying here. It is uh, for the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians who walk up right, rightly. As you just read in that previous verse, it's uh, 21. It'll turn away his wrath if, if, if you, uh, when we walk uprightly before the Most High, and that is to keep his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. And if, let me read it from the top again. He that walketh in his uprightness, spirit Yahweh. That means in the Most High law, statutes, and commandments, not his own mindset, because we know our mind is, is uh, wicked. You know, but when we go and, and uh, when we cleave to the most high uh, law, statutes, and commandments in his word, 
we know we're going to be uh, walking in upright, uh, you know, up, uprightness. And that proves that we fear the most, you know, the most high. How about Shem Yahweh Let me read it all. It's, but he that is perverse in his ways despises him. Mm -hmm. And he that goeth off and do not walk in the uh, ways of the law, statutes, the commandments of the most high is corrupt. And he's going to be, you know, in earth. He's going to be in the wrong. You know, he's been doing evil. So we know that, uh, let, me, let me read that again, but he that is perverse, that means corrupt in the sense, in his way despises the most high. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our people, two thirds of our people, despise the most high because they refuse, man. I right refuse to uh, walk in the law section of the commandments. They won't quit doing the abominable things that the most high hates. All right, my brother, that's all I have. Yep, yep, uh, that's right. The dial you up. Kai, Kai, this is the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28, mm -hmm. and it says, And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that is wisdom. Mm -hmm. And to depart from evil is understanding. You see that? See what happens when you fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? You depart from evil. Evil going into sins, man. Wickedness, man. See the sins that we know that uh that is wrong according to the scriptures. We don't do them anymore now that we're in this truth, man. Now that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah sent His Holy Spirit upon us, man. Why? Because we fear the Lord. Because we know that if we do the sins that we was committing back in the world willfully, that the Lord is going to destroy us, man. The Lord is going to jack us up and He's going to lead us, man. So when you have that fear of the Lord, you're going to do the things that are well-pleasing to the Lord to the best of your abilities, man. Read that from the top one more time. Yep, this is the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28. Mm -hmm. And it says, And unto man, he said, mm -hmm. Behold, the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that is wisdom. Now it starts with the Israelite man, okay? The flock of my pasture are men. Like it says in the scriptures, man, in Ezekiel, man. So it's referring to first and foremost the men, okay. Then the then it trickles on down to the sincere women and children, man. All right, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom, man. Okay, so the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the scriptures starts by fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, fearing those names. Read on. It says, and to depart from evil. Is understanding and apart from evil, wickedness, man, sins, the the ones that we you know that we know that we can keep, man, the uh, the law statutes and commandments, the 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 uh, the law statutes and commandments that we know that we can keep, you know, we keep them to the best of our abilities, and that's well pleasing to the Lord, because like Judges five and eleven says, we were rehearsing the righteous acts in the Lord, and the Lord uh, honors that, man, so that keeps the Lord's wrath away from us. That was it, my brother. Uh. Bring out that next on Baba Kusha. Yep. This is the book of First Samuel, chapter twelve, verse twenty-four. Mm -hmm. It says, "It says only, you know, no one else, solely." Mm -hmm. It says here, you know, we should have the feeling of dread, being terrified mm -hmm. and reverence. You know, we should pay homage, honor, esteem with value. The Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and serve him in truth with all your heart. You know, so we should worship the Lord being zealous, having faith, and pure intentions. It says, for consider, meditate on great things, you no know, prominent things, you no know, the things of importance. You no, know, he has done for he has done for you. you no, know, speaking on speaking of Israel, you know, so going into uh some of the accounts of um some of the things he done, you know, you know, the deliverance from Egypt, yep. you know, he fit, you know, he, he fed uh, five thousand men with five loaves of bread and two fish, you know, he sent down manna from heaven, you know, Yahweh shall raise the dead, made the blind to see, the crippled the wall, he cast out devils, you know, Yahweh shall sacrifice his blood for the remission of sins, you know, and uh and uh and, and you know and, and now you know Yahweh shall go redeem us. From the uh, the North Country, America, you know, Lord willing, we some of those men. 
Yeah, you had the floor, my brother. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, man. Hey, the miracles of Yahweh Shah is uh is phenomenal, man. It never gets old. None of the scriptures in the Bible gets old. But uh, Taza Bayou you up next. All right. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse seven. It says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, yeah, Lord Yahweh Shah fed uh, 4,000, you know, Israelites, uh, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Yahweh Kakodash, yeah. When Lord Yahweh Shah fed the, the multitude of 4,000 Israelites, man, that was, that was, um, hey, that was, that was something, you know. She said, just to go and back the land back off that brother for that one, because I know you, I think he said five, but it was four. Okay, so like... No, 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 you good, bro. You good. Yeah, I think I, think I had a little bit of something in Mark or something. I might have been something different, so like... It's all, it's all good, my brother. It's all good. Oh, uh, so like it, Taza Bar. Read that one more time, Baba Kasha. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter one, verse seven. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Right, it's the beginning of what knowledge? Of the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of the scriptures, man, of the uh, the Bible. You see, you want to know why the majority of, the, uh, of our people don't understand the Bible because they don't fear the Lord, man. See, where the fear of the Lord is, that's where it starts, man. That's where you get the understanding of the scriptures from, you know? Fearing the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, You know? It says, but fools despise wisdom and and that starts off with guys who know that they're Israelites, but they don't want to get in order, man. They don't want to take heed to correction. All right. They think they got it. They think they know uh, what the scriptures are talking about, you know, but they totally winging it, man. So you're a bunch of fools, man. A bunch of blockheads, meatballs, morons, dunces. Every insult you can name under the sun, that's the two thirds of our people beginning with those who know that they're Israelites. All right. But being a bunch of ninjas behind closed doors, man. You are going to be destroyed, man, if you don't repent. That was it, my brother, on that one? That was it on that one. Bring out that, bring out that last one, Bobby Kusha. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. Mm -hmm. For this is the whole duty of man. Right, yes, yeah, but this is the whole duty of man. You see, fear your heart about Shimmy Shah and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities, man. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, fear your heart about Shimmy Shah and keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities. You know, as a matter of fact, the spirit had me go back at that. Uh, the one he encountered, Mark, it was um, about 5,000. So a tomato or a tomato, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Either way, it was a great miracle done by Lord Yahweh Shah. You see, and then great miracles are going to happen in these times too, because we, the ones that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that's of the elect, the Lord is going to do some miraculous things, man, in righteousness. But the two thirds, the Lord is going to do something miraculous with them too, but it's going to be with to their destruction, though. That's right. That was it, my brother. Oh, God. Hey, Lord, when this was edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Baha Shiva Kakodash. Lord, until next time, me and the brothers, we say Shalom.